All right, so again, this is just going to be real quick. Um, obviously, uh, gold doesn't come in this way um, into one pan, but <clears throat> we're going to sprinkle this gold that we just got throughout that turbo pan. And then what I want to do, hopefully this is enough of an angle. Gosh, maybe it's not. Is maybe get this filled up with some water. And just so that you can see, that's all gold. And again, the actions that you're doing with this is you're washing it clockwise, and that's washing that light material off. You can see that gold's kind of staying there, or it's stepping down because of that swirling motion it's bringing the gold to the inside. And then you're gonna do a motion the other way. And if you can kind of watch that trap right there, <clears throat> that's what happens is the gold comes off of those ledges and it goes right down into that trap. And then you do a side to side, and you do a front to back. And as you go more, you'll start to see more and more gold into that trap. It works its way down, the fines, the nuggets, uh, again, as you're swirling, you're washing that material, and then you're bringing it back the other way, and you're forcing that heavy uh, material and the gold through those vents and down into that center. Uh, and again, back and forth a couple times, side to side a couple times, uh, and hopefully once you get to the end, let's see what do I have here. Okay, so, so far in just those three swishes, the only thing that didn't get down there and it was almost there is that little flake. Uh, nowhere in the rest of the pan do you see any gold. Uh, and again, <clears throat> it's just part of the design. Uh, that motion and that swirl, these riffles right here, feed into this trap and it washes everything right down into there. So uh, that's the turbo pan. We'll have more on that. Uh, this I really think is going to be a, a pan that I'm going to use for prospecting, guys, um, just because the amount of material you can go through in just minutes.